Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Friday Five. This week I am sharing with you five tips for a healthy relationship. I would consider myself to be in a very healthy relationship. And the reason I say that is because I know what the opposite feels like. It's either flowing and you're both trying to become the best version of yourselves or you're not. I'm here to share with you five tips for creating, cultivating, and maybe even using these five tips to help you manifest a healthy relationship. Tip number one, practice crystal clear communication. I actually learned crystal clear communication from Melissa Ambrosini. Crystal clear communication. Yes. It's really important. Women think our partners can read our minds. Yes, but I thought that's what they were supposed to do. No, I did too. <laughs> and they don't, they can't read no. our minds. It means you expressing yourself clearly, straightforward to the point, not tiptoeing around anything, really communicating what it is that you need, what it is that you want, what it is that you're thinking about, so that there's no room for misinterpretation or there's the least amount of room for misinterpretation. If you're about to communicate something, the energy, the setting, the environment, the mood of the other person, everything needs to be taken into consideration. So it's not just about what you say, it's how you deliver it. Number two, you show up to give and not to get. And this is really hard because we're humans. So we're in a state constantly of trying to make sure that we are safe, that we're gonna survive, that we feel good. That is all important. But if you show up to a relationship expecting them to give you all of these things, then you are setting the relationship up for failure. On a daily basis, think of this concept. What can I give to my relationship today? Not what can I get, what can I give to him or her today? Change your energy from always wanting, 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 and focus your energy on giving because then in return you will receive. Tip number three, listen to understand, not to respond. As we're listening to someone else talk, we're just thinking about how we're gonna respond. You can think about what you're gonna say, but have it be to get deeper into what they're saying. So instead of them talking and then you be like, well, this is what I think. Say, tell me more. Say, what did you mean by that? Try to get really deep into whatever it is that they're saying. Ask more questions. Let's find out more information about each other's point of view. If you come from that perspective, everything changes. Number four, this one is huge. There is no such thing as the one. There's just not. Do you realize how many human beings are on this planet? There is no such thing as the one. The idea of finding the one is problematic for relationships. You have choice like you've never had. When we have a hundred people to choose from, it actually creates a real sense of anxiety. That paradox of choice isn't doing well by us because we don't know. How do I know? And we have to trust ourselves and we have to feel so certain about something that we can't be certain about. If you think that there is someone out there that is the one, then you are going to constantly be comparing or questioning or doubting your current relationship to see if they are it. Everything out there is going to tell you that they are not it because guess how many other options you have? Billions. If you have billions of options and you're in a relationship with a human being, then every time a flaw comes up in them, you're gonna say, oh, they're not the one. Should have picked somebody else, so I'm gonna go pick somebody else. It is so detrimental. It's like a cancer. It will just grow inside of you. Oh my God, they're not the one. And maybe you think your past boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife was the one. Maybe it's that future person you're seeking that is gonna be the one. There's no such thing as the one. You make the one. You create the one with your effort, with your love, with your energy, with your consciousness, with your awareness, just your ability to be a better human being every single day. That's what creates the one. It's when you become the one, then that relationship is the one because you're it, you're the one. Realize and remember that you are the one and that this person is just a great team member for you, this person is a great partner for you, this person is a great mirror for you to wake yourself up even more. Number five, fan their 
flame. Try your best to, it's like if it was your child. Look for the, all the golden nuggets within them. Look for the wisdom within them. Look for the potential within them and then fan that flame. Get excited about what they're excited about. Figure out what are they good at? What are they talented at? And then help them find ways to fuel that fire or how to practice that skill more often. The more you do that, the more they're gonna wanna do that for you. If you're in a relationship with someone, then you guys need to be each other's biggest advocates and number one fans and biggest supporters. And when you can both do that for each other, and you've gotta be the one to start it, by the way, your relationship's going to thrive because you don't have to be perfect, but you're both there on the sidelines cheering the other one on saying, you've got this. Like you are capable of anything you put your mind to and I know this for a fact. I'm not intimidated by you. Your success does not mean my failure. I'm not competing with you. We're on the same team. Those are my five tips for a healthy relationship. I hope this was helpful for you. Use these tips, think about them, journal on them. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Talk to you next time, bye.